right hello youtube <laughs> welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is sharita all right today's video you guys is going to be a bit of a vlog style but we are getting into my april tray now this tray has been going around <laughs> making its rounds on youtube and um, I kind of decided to try the tray off camera and see if it would actually work for me. And over the past couple of months, I found that it did indeed work. So for me to give, um, attention to certain fragrances that I feel like need more attention, I load them on the tray. Some of my newbies are on the tray. And also something I feel like is really important is some of the things that, you have gotten decants of or your testing also appear on the tray because for me honey i got so many <laughs> of these and they're in their little um you know their little drawer and it's like out of sight out of mind so with every tray i pull out at least one or two of these okay so let's get into what i will be wearing for the month of april but before we start Listen now, you see this finger? It's pointed at you. Make sure, well, let me go this way. It's pointed at you. <laughs> make sure you are subscribed to the channel, you guys. Make sure the notification bell is on and make sure that you give the video a big thumbs up. All right, so let's start with the decant. Um, this is from my Royalty Sense subscription and they got some initials in this month. Ooh, for greatness, when I tell you, <laughs> The hype is so big and y'all never lied. I love it. I love it. I love it. Do I need a full bottle? We will see by the time I get to the end of this decant. It's a very smooth, spicy oud. And I mean, it smells amazing. I think I would feel better getting a full bottle of this if I had like a living mate and we could share it <laughs> because I don't know if I would get through a full bottle of that but do I think the scent is freaking amazing yes do I think it's worth the hype worth the coin yes so maybe I'll give y'all an update but I will I will definitely be wearing this um because we are getting like cold days here and there um and I feel like it's still at the point you know the very beginning point of spring where I can still wear it all right, moving on. Um, this is Black Capital. This is a Scherzoff. And this one is also very beautiful. It's fruity. It's got a very, very light leather note. It's spicy. And y'all, when I tell you the beauty, the magic is in the dry down. The beautiful Eve, Evelyn on the Eve Effects gifted this to me. I didn't even ask her for it, y'all. She just said, look in the mail, okay? <laughs> I just kind of hinted that I wanted to try it because she made it sound so amazing on her channel. Also, um, my other girl, Miss Prissy Baby, also made it just sound like a really great scent that I wanted to test. And, um, you know, Miss Eve was so, so kind enough to give this to me. And I'm loving it. So I will be wearing this, testing it, and finishing up this um, decant that she sent to me. I will link both of their channels below. So please be sure that you check them out and subscribe because they are two very amazing content creators. All right, moving on. Next up, honey, I've been waiting to bring her out. This is Healy by Widian. Listen to me. If you are a tuberose lover, if you want something for the spring and summer with that coconut vibe, that beach vibe, this is a must have. It is a must smell, must try, must something. You just gotta get your nose on it. It's beautiful. It is, I feel like it's different, it's creamy, but it's got this prominent pink pepper that really just makes it feel so elevated. Like you could wear this on a fancy date night in the summer um, or springtime, you know, 
going on holiday vacation you must take with you it's beautiful and when this little bottle is gone i shall be repurchasing this is absolutely a repurchase and it wears beautifully it smells wonderful and highly recommend you checking this one out again healy by Whitian. next up on the list is a wonderful iris scent and this is by Hotel Paris. This is Otwell. Is it Otwell? <laughs> I don't speak French. Y'all gotta forgive me. Okay, let me get it together. Otwell Duin Nui. I hope I said that right. But y'all, y'all see this dent? <laughs> Do y'all see the dent after two days? I am not a lipstick scent type of person. I've always said I don't want to smell like lipstick. Like I don't, I don't care to smell like makeup. Like uh, this thing took me by surprise um it's just a beautiful like cosmetic-y type of fragrance it's got i think like a couple fruity notes i want to say like strawberry raspberry but i really don't get that i think there is some vanilla in here which is not something that's listed and i also think there's like a spice in here because when this thing starts to warm up and dry down on the skin it is so stunning um it reminds me it puts me in the mindset of is it louis rouge oh my god which one louis rouge or is it Cro what are the louis i think the one with the um Oh my god i cannot remember i will link it i mean i'm gonna put a picture of the bottle i'm thinking about i cannot remember which luby it is but this one reminds me of that one it's like the the iris and the um cardamom bomb uh fragrance that he has it reminds me of that but this one i feel like is just so much more wearable i could not get past how much cardamom was in that other one and i still have like so much of the decant left but this one baby <laughs> This guitar is about to get sprayed. It's about to get used. Just look at the packaging. Just the packaging. Stunning. I mean, when I put this fragrance on, this is what I feel like. How this looks is how I feel. I feel chic. I feel elegant. I feel like <laughs> that girl, but grown up, you know? So definitely check this one out. I love it. And again, if you're into that lipsticky type of scent, this is... <laughs> This is the one because I don't even like those scents, but this one, gorgeous. All right, so um, this one, House of Sillage Mickey Mouse. I broke this one down in my haul. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to air before my hauls video, <laughs> but this is a gorgeous scent for spring and summer. It is a very like tropical citrusy coconut um, scent, but there is just something so light and grown up and very sophisticated about the way they have formulated this, this blend. It is beautiful. I love it. Um, it feels like it wears quite close to the skin. But I feel like it's just projecting so much more than what you think because I got compliments on this thing, you know, many hours after I wore it. Um, my daughter loves it. Um, in addition to the bottle, she loves the scent and I also love it. Like I got this new and the dentist, the dentist is, is, is there. Okay. As you can see, like, let me try to hold it up straight. There's definitely a dent in here. Um, and yeah, I will absolutely be getting my wares for, you know, the warmer months in this one. Gorgeous scent. Again, that's Mickey Mouse by the House of Siage. Definitely check it out. Okay. Musk therapy is just an obsession. <laughs> this is by the House of Inicio. This is one of my favorite musk scents. I'm actually working on putting together a musk video. But honey, this is definitely going to be one of my top three musks. Um, it's a black currant musk and it's like that fruity vibe is just everything to me. Um, and again, the musk is like a fresh clean musk. It's not, you know, anything animalic, but it's just 
it performs. You know, it lasts. The sillage is beautiful. Um, definitely a compliment getter. And I just really need to put this back because I've been wearing it out. But it's about to get some more wears this month. And then we're probably going to try to rotate her out for something else because, baby, she's getting way too much love. And the other frags are jealous at this point. <laughs> Again, Must Therapy by Inicio. Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Listen, AI of the Great warned about these nest oils. They are superb. Now, I tried the vanilla, the Madagascar vanilla months ago um, on my skin. Though beautiful, I felt like I was getting such a huge, like, sandalwood vanilla vibe. I thought it would be more of a straightforward vanilla. And that's not really what I got from the vanilla. So I never purchased it. But she made me want to go back to test the other scents out. I loved the sandalwood. Um, but my daughter was like, I do not like this smell. <laughs> so this one I went with, the Turkish rose. What can you not add this to? I mean, rose is in everything. I layered this one yesterday with my Roja Dove Amber um, Aoud. And when I tell you I smelled like a freaking rich, <laughs> like I felt like royalty. I felt like a princess, but not like in a damsel in distress princess sort of way. I felt like like regal. I felt like a queen, not even a princess, a queen. That's what I felt like when I put this on because it adds a little bit of sweetness. This thing lasts and lasts and lasts. And when you layer your perfume on top of it, you're just going to get that much better performance. One thing about these oils, what I feel like just, I mean, they, they project. When I put that sandalwood thing on, honey, I, every time I move my arm, it's like I was getting the biggest whiff all the way up to my nose. Okay, and I had it only like on my hand and wrist for hours. I mean, it's not like eight hours later. The thing was still just wafting around. The, like I had on a beast mode fragrance. Um, I don't know, my daughter might just have to just have to get her life and, and mind her business. I might have to go back for the sandalwood because I loved it. But this one, the Turkish Rose, so beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. And um, this one, you can wear it on its own. I mean, it's almost like a little Delina oil. <laughs> like, literally, that's what it's smelling like. Um, so, when I go to work tomorrow, I will probably try this one with Delina. Not that Delina needs any help, but I'm just trying to get my whole luxurious life. So, I'm going to be pairing those. And, again, the Nest Turkish Rose Oil, it is everything. And you must try it out. Beautiful, beautiful product. Okay, <laughs> this one is no stranger to the channel and probably like my biggest dent like this fast, like in history of perfumes. I love this thing, Dolce Garden. Honey, <laughs> if you're looking for a coconut scent that just gives you your whole life, this is it. Frangipani. I mean, it's tropical, it's coconut, it's delicious. It is... Oh, so good it's sweet it is it's like a sweet intoxicating tropical scent that is what I get from this and I'm obsessed the obsession it's it's not going anywhere I mean I love it I love it and this is like oh my god I'm gonna need a bigger there are no bigger bottles this is the biggest size that they have so I'm gonna need a refill more than likely before the summer is even here I won't be rotating her out I will continue to obsess <laughs> and spray her. Again, Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. All right, you guys, this one is one that has been tucked away and it's time to bring her out. Yes, honey, love don't be shy. I have been wearing the original black bottle um, for the winter and this one wears just a little lighter. So I feel like I want to bring her out for spring just because it's, it gives like a slightly fresher vibe. And I love this 
beautiful orange blossom neroli marshmallow balm i don't need to spend too much time on her y'all know her we love her and she's about to get her wares in for <laughs> the month of april again that is by killian's love don't be shy the i guess it's what the 2020 i don't know whatever the newest formulation is and don't believe don't believe what they say this still has great performance um maybe an hour and a half <laughs> You know, less than the original, but it's it's not a weak performer. Don't believe that. Well, it's not on me. Okay, I cannot speak for myself, but love her and we'll be wearing her. Okay. Um, next up is <laughs> one of my favorites. Fruity Florals. This is Cassiopeia. Honey, if you want to smell like a piece of candy, this is it. This is it. I think this is probably the sweetest perfume in my collection and it is you just it's so many fruits in here it's got a slight muskiness to it um and it's just absolutely delicious i can't even put into words it's one you're going to have to try to get your hands on the sample decant whatever you got to do but if you're a fruity floral lover if you want something that is ridiculously sweet but still wearable um because it doesn't fall too heavy this is it. This is beautiful. I don't feel like this is going to get too cloying in the spring and summer for me and my taste. Um, but I can't get enough of this scent. I've been like head over heels from, you know, my first sniff. And Lord, I mean, just just take me. I'm probably going to spray it as soon as this, <laughs> this taping is over. I'm going to spray myself down with Cassiopeia. And this is from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. A must have for spring and summer and a definite wear for april all right you guys we are getting down to the last three i'm learning how to roll on my table here i guess i can put them back on the tray <laughs> all right you guys so this one is from you know one of my favorite houses grillon and this is from the aqua allegoria line this is peregrinita this is a gorgeous pear scent um, I forget the other fruits that are in this one with the pear, but it's a gorgeous, juicy, like fruity EDT. And I just think this is such a perfect grabbing of fragrance for the springtime when you just want to smell, you know, sweet and, and beautiful. Spray this on, go about your day, run your errands, you know, chill at the house. It is so beautiful and i'm so glad that i had this and as you can see um she probably <laughs> will need a re-up um this summer because it's it's just beautiful and i just totally overspray like ridiculously but yeah that's why the bottle is getting so low <laughs> love this one again peregrinita okay now this one is one that I sampled through my royalty sense, I think, uh, last month. And I went on and made it a full bottle, you guys. This is Balenciaga Paris by the House of Balenciaga. I think this is just this beautiful iris powdery um, carnation scent. I, I think it's a mature scent, but it's not overly mature where you're gonna feel like okay this is for an old lady i'm 40 so i feel like this is beautiful and appropriate for my age i don't know if someone in their 20s would go for this maybe especially in a professional setting like this i think is a beautiful fragrance to, to wear to work it's going to make you feel you know sophisticated pulled together feminine but not anything too overbearing or offensive. Beautiful, like if you love a powdery, you know, iris type violet scent, like this is so gorgeous to me. Like I, I would spray this as I tested it and I just could not stop sniffing. I'm like, what the heck? This, is, this shouldn't be intoxicating, but for some reason I could not stop snipping my arm i love this one it's so pretty if you have it let me know in the comments i feel like i don't i mean it's been around forever it's not anything new but um i just you know i i don't hear a lot of people talking about it 
Um, and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I really do. Um, I'm going to be testing Flora Botanica. Uh, I think it's on the queue for my next month. Yeah, my subscription box. So I can't wait to try that one because I love this one. I kind of heard that Flora Botanica was like a floral powdery type of scent. So since I was impressed with the way they did this powdery scent, I want to try the other one, <laughs> the more up to date one. So love this one. Again, this is Balenciaga Paris. All right, and the last one needs absolutely no introduction. Creed's events is for her. Y'all know I have been with my full bottle. Finally, ooh, sorry, I hate my top to be the wrong way. I finally got this at a reasonable price because I was not trying to pay no full price. <laughs> so I got me a brand new bottle. Um, I think I paid $2.30. And this is full size, which I think is usually four if you pay for retail. So very happy that I was patient and got it at a great price. Um, my decant had just run out. So perfect timing because I just was like, I can't be without this fragrance. I cannot be without. So I would have paid full price if I hadn't come up on a sale, but it's beautiful. What can I say? I've been raving and ranting and rave. It's, not, it's nothing new, but I'm not the latest, you know, I, I, I'm not rushing out to just buy stuff just to say I have it, you know, or oh, I'm the first set. Look, I ain't been in fragrances that long. So I'm, you know, I'm getting my collection up and I'm trying to do something just very curated fragrances that I love. It doesn't matter how old, how new. I just want what I love. And I love this fragrance. I feel like um, the regular Aventus is super duper hyped. And I feel like this one that they made for women is just everything. Oh my God. I love it. Um, it's not like a pineapple type of scent, but some people think that this pulls pineapple and it's a green apple with like, I think a peach and all that stuff, but sometimes apple can pull pineapple. So I totally get that vibe. But for me, this is very sophisticated. It's very, you know, elevated, sweet, woody fruity floral and it's just it's one of my tops it's yeah top 10 for sure right now um so yeah you guys oh wait hold on wait a minute we got one more back here i don't want to forget about my baby oh yes this is rhapsody it's um one of the newer louis vuitton extraits as uh gifted this one to me as well i tested this one they gave me a sample months ago when I got, I think, Contre Moi into my collection, they sent me this sample and I was blown away. Oh God, it's beautiful. I can't remember none of the notes right now, but when I tell you this thing is gorgeous. Will I be getting a, a, a full bottle? I don't know. That price tag, oh, it's heavy. It's hefty. But when you look at the quality of these fragrances they're putting out, the the stunning, okay, display, um, you know, that the bottle, like those x-ray bottles are everything. Like, ooh, beautiful. I mean, I'm speechless just, just thinking about how beautiful they look. But this is a gorgeous scent. Very, you know, elevated, um, rich vibes, sophisticated. Unisex, in my opinion. Um, and... I can't, yeah, I can't wait to to give this one some more full wears. I think as soon as I opened the box, this is the one that I like went ham on. And it was my scent of the day. And it, like I said, it's a beautiful scent. Can I remember the notes? I feel like it's like mossy type of, I don't know. Y'all looked up my fragrance. <laughs> but yeah, love this one. I love all of these. Okay, that's why they're on this tray. Um, I want to make sure they all get their love and affection and attention for this month. So this is it, you guys. This is what's going to be, you know, in heavy rotation for April. You all, that's the end of the video. It's been real. I love y'all. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know what you will be wearing this April. I will check you guys later on another video.